Now, one of my favorite jerk baits to throw when I fish shallow is actually a deep diver. It's the one with the bill on it for some reason. It's even though this jerk bait actually says it dives about seven to nine feet of water, I'll actually throw this jerk bait in two to four foot of water. Why I do that is this bill right here for some reason, it ex acts exactly like a square bill crankbait does. I'll throw this thing in a lay down around rocks. You can fish it out in seven to 10 foot of water and then I'll go fish it in five foot and shallower. And that bill, it makes it just deflect where Though it's not the shallow diver, it doesn't roll as much and it, the hooks don't hang on it. That bill allows the bait to deflect off of the actual, the wood in the shallow cover and it'll bounce off of it and roll to the side. It's actually a really good presentation to show pressured fish sometimes where everybody may be going in there and flipping and throwing a shallow square bill or a spinner bait in there. And when you throw them that jerk bait in there where you bounce it off two of those branches and then just pause it right in that lay down, they can't stand it. We just saw the deep jerk bait crawl through the cover. We threw it through a lay down about 10 different times and it didn't get hung up at all. And we've been experimenting with that lately of just throwing the deep diving jerk bait in shallow cover truly to see how weedless it was. And what we're gonna do now is we have the same jerk bait, same hook, same color. And all we're doing is we're going to the shallow diver. And so we're just gonna see which one is more weedless in the shallow cover, whether you actually are gonna throw the deep diver, which you would think would be for seven to 10 foot. We're gonna still throw it in two foot of water. And so we're gonna compare it to the actual shallow diver with the small bill. So stay tuned, we'll see. See, I don't think I don't think the deep one would have got caught then, because that bill lets it it just bounces back more. The deep diving jerk bait is something that these fish don't normally see a lot of times. Where parallel on the docks, there's people definitely throwing jerk baits, but it's the deep diver where it deflects off the wood, it'll deflect off the post. It really helps with throwing it against laydowns, and the fish don't see that that different type of action where they're seeing a spinnerbait and a square book come bouncing off of there. But it's where you can jerk it through there and it and you can pause it and it'll suspend right in their face every single time. And it's when it bounces back and then it just sits there, those fish just can't stand it. And that's really what helped me last year at Logan Martin, which was the tournament that ultimately got me into the leads this year was I had a great finish, finished in the twenties or something. But what saved me was throwing the deep diving jerk bait around docks and just that's how I was catching all the spotted bass in that tournament. Now what I do when I'm actually fishing a jerk bait in four wheel drive is what I like to call it. Just fishing a deep diving jerk bait up shallow. I still have the same setup. I'm throwing the dial with the Tula Elite Series rod. It's a 6.9, it's the Seth Fighter rod. And uh, I'm throwing on, it on 12 or 14 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon. Um, I only throw the 14 when I'm throwing it real shallow but I'm throwing it actually on a Daiwa Steez seven to one gear ratio. It's the same rod and reel setup I would use if I was fishing a jerkbait out deep or if I was throwing a normal jerkbait like I was throwing it on points. It's just, this is a great jerkbait. It throws the bait real well and it's got plenty of load. So I don't change the setup too much, but what I do is I do beef up the hooks. I'm actually throwing the VMC number sixes short shanks. You know, I want a pretty stout hook in there because those fish, is, those fish, when you're shallow fishing that bait, they're, they're gonna eat the bait. They're not really slapping at it in these conditions. He's, he's gonna swallow this bait when it's just, when it's deflecting off that cover, it's not like it's in, in wide open area. So that's why I go with the short shank. So it makes it a little more weedless. And when he grabs it, he's hooked. He's, you, you really do pin the fish pretty well with those hooks. But I am throwing it with the same combo as I would throw it out deep. And sometimes when I throw it out deep, I'll go to 10 pound fluorocarbon. But when I'm throwing it shallow, I at least throw 12 just to beef up that diameter a little bit and have a better chance of getting those fish in. 